really dig the new music. I think it's powerful, it's passionate. It's heavy and it's just dirty and it's just, you know, it's just Pete Roach. When fans hear this record, I want them to just see what Pop Roach is capable of doing because there's, I think there's so much there and it spans like, you know, 10 years of, of Pop Roach. It seems the gap between, you know, the current and the classics. But we want to connect the dots between not only are we a badass live rock and roll band, but also in the studio we kill it. And so it's like the best of both worlds on this record. You kind of get the best of the old and the new, basically a greatest hits. You get live tracked and you get five new songs. Three amazing things in one. It's really a good bargain. It's everything that you could possibly ask for. The essential Papa Roach. The songs are very diverse. It really takes you on a roller coaster ride of musical styles through our career. And that's what is true about Papa Roach is that we're always going to change. Like that's the only thing that is like constant is evolution. Specifically with a. Uh, Paramore Sessions and Metamorphosis, we really tried to discover like the rock and roll band within Papa Roach. Now where do we go next? And you know, we're like, well, let's try a little bit more alternative rock. It's a new kind of alternative twist for P. Roach, but still, still P. Roach. I think working with David Bendeth kind of helped us achieve that goal. Papa Roach are here today because they work really, really hard. They are really, really committed. Their competition for what they do is everybody that's having top five records and they're going to have another one too. We've been through a lot of great producers and worked with a lot of great guys and wanted to get with somebody new and see what that was like to experience that. Uh, he's got a real smoker's voice. David Bendeth has a very energetic style. Yes. Uh, and that's good for us because we feed off that. It's like, <sighs> he's in your face foaming at the <laughs> mouth and we dig that. Passion towards not only producing but also playing music. There's certain producers you work with that take five minutes out of tracking and they just talk about something that's really pertinent to life and just really important and uh, to the music. When they leave here, they're not going to be the same day. He pushed us really hard, got uh, got some great stuff out of us. I really truly feel that, you know, we, we kind of met like the fifth P. Roach member. He gets it. I knew they looked at this part of their career as like a second piece. We're not on a major label this time around and that's different for us. And we fulfilled our contract with our ex record company and we're off to new things. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Are, are an amazing live band. And what you gotta do is is take a snapshot in midair. Annihilation. That's the last thing we say to each other before we go on stage. We're that kind of band that can bring the arena vibe to the club and the club vibe to the arena. We can make the person in the nosebleed seat feel like they're right in front of us. I always like to pick out the people that are just going with dessert, because that's who I get off on. The prosthetic legs <laughs> bumping their fist. The dudes on wheelchairs crowd surfing. Burn started out as a demo that I had created while I was on tour. It started with this uh, kind of violin loop thing that I ran through a distorted guitar amp. And it ended up being, you know, one of the coolest songs out of the bunch. Burn really caught all of our ears. We were like, this is different, but this is really good. I'm sure everybody out there watching this has been burned in more ways than one, so here we go. Burn, the vocal styling that Jacoby's singing is kind of unlike what he's done before. There's a song called No Matter What, probably one of the most um, emotional songs that we've ever written. It's almost like the vocal and the guitar are like singing back and forth to each other. And that, I think, we've, we've never really done anything like that. Bonnie and Clyde love story. No matter what, I got your back. Kicking the Teeth, it's a dancey little number. It was just one of those songs that I heard it and it was just, that was it. It was banging, it's, a, it's an anthem. What does it kill me only? You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's the message to the fans. And that's really the, what we live and die by in this rock and roll band. I think it's gonna get people dancing and having a good time and, and, and the fans are really gonna enjoy it. It's good, it's great. Good is the enemy of great. And for me, that's like, you know, we didn't want to settle for good on this record. We wanted to go great. I still think that we've got a lot to learn and a, and a, and a lot more to prove as a rock and roll band. So we have not reached that point in our career of being content. You know, once we even record a record, it's like, what's next? 
we're always thinking about what's next. Can't get out.